My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. To support this YouTube channel, buy my latest book, The Awan Brothers and Debbie Wasserman Schultz. If you want to know about the scandal, the controversy of over 10 years of an IT uh, team of IT staffers, a family of IT staffers storing mountains of data on off-site servers, even a server that California's Attorney General knows about and was asked about by the FBI and Congressional Capitol Police, and I explain what happened there. There's a cover-up going on by that book. Um, there's so many threats to national security regarding the Awan brothers from possible espionage. Uh, the, I should say the I team of Awan, the team of professionals, including the Awan brothers. Espionage, a whole bunch of other things. So, and it's doing quite well right now on Amazon, just like the prior, the previous two books in the series are do, have done very well and are doing well. The link is below. This is just kind of interesting. I found it really interesting. Trump has damaged Tillerson beyond repair. He should leave, but then what? The notion that you have Rex Tillerson and Kelly and Mattis, and they're the adults, and then Trump is this crazy, insane ogre. I voted for Jill Stein and Bernie Sanders so that we break up two big-to-fail banks, which are actually even bigger now than they were when they were nationalized by Bush and Obama. Very communist, very commie and socialist thing to do. So I voted for them because I want to break up banks and bring home our soldiers from war, a whole bunch of other structural reasons. But the notion that that Trump doesn't know what he's doing, uh, that he's he's by the Bob Corker is uh, Senator Bob Corker says, "Oh my God, he's going to you know get us into World War III. I disagree with. You know, a lot of his tactics in terms of how he's dealing with North Korea, I don't think you should call, um, <laughs> I don't think you should call uh, Kim Jong-un Rocket Man uh, or Little Rocket Man, but it's probably his, Trump's tactics are probably, China has probably given Trump a green light or some kind of okay he wouldn't behave in this manner if either his administration or china or there wasn't some kind of overall strategy um or at least at least he got the backing of countries within the region give me your give me your thoughts below on what's taking place with north korea but I'll read you. Trump has damaged Tillerson beyond repair. He should leave, but then what? At the very moment, the Secretary of State faces a massively complex web of international issues. The president has all but castrated him. What the? So, no offense to the, the uh, columnist here. Very accomplished gentleman. This is just what I do uh, at almost 1 o'clock in the, in the morning. Um... USA Today, Paris. President Trump has left his chief foreign policy negotiator, deeply damaged dim diplomat, perhaps as profoundly wounded in his world standing as any predecessor back to Thomas Jefferson, the first U.S. Secretary of State. Less than an hour after Rex Tillerson had finished a meeting with China's President Xi Jinping, he told reporters at the U.S. ambassador's residence in Beijing that back channels had been opened with North Korea to try to defuse a crisis that seemed to be spiraling toward nuclear war. North Korea can't reach the United States, but, of course, of course, they can... Um, declare war on South Korea, use nuclear weapons. Um, they're an existential threat, obviously, to South Korea. That's why either... I don't think it's that Trump is crazy. I think that... I think that he's either getting China's backing to behave, to, to call um, 
Kim Jong Un, Rocket Man, <laughs> Little Rocket Man. He's either getting China's backing um, or Japan's backing. Something going on there. It's not that Trump isn't just doing this because he's like this crazy person. That's what the media and the idiot loser Democrats, who all they do is cheat and lose, lose, lose no matter what. And I say this from the vantage point of a Bernie Sanders supporter. We would have had a Bernie Sanders presidency, but that's a whole other story if they didn't cheat him. But there's something going on in terms of, you might disagree with the tactics, but the overall strategy is being uh, bolstered by support from China. Tillerson said, said enigmatically, less than a news cycle later, however, there was no uh, equivocation from his boss. That's the operative phrase, less than a news cycle. The news cycle is completely irrelevant. Uh, I can go on endlessly about that. I told Rex Tillerson, our wonderful Secretary of State, that he is wasting his time trying to negotiate with Little Rocket Man. <laughs> little Rocket Man. Trump tweeted, using his favorite nickname from North Korea's erotic leader, Kim Jong-un. Save your energy, Rex. We'll do what has to be done. So I'm not really a fan of Trump calling Kim Jong-un Rocket Man. Just because you don't, you don't know how he might react, which would not be good for South Korea and our biggest, I think our greatest ally, if not our greatest ally, one of our greatest allies in the world is South Korea. Um, if Korea was not complicated, was not, was not complication enough, now it's the nuclear deal with Iran, perhaps the most ab uh, uh, immediate and noxious problem facing Tillerson and Trump. Well, Republicans have hated that deal, so it's not really a noxious problem other than what do you do if you remove the deal? That's a whole other story. And while Tillerson has been struggling frantically to hold on, hold together the agreement carefully worked out by three of America's closest allies, plus Russia, the European Union, and China, Trump has been doing his level best to torpedo this accord. <laughs> um... Then you have the issue of Tillerson possibly calling Trump a moron, which I don't think is. I think that's media hype. I doubt everybody who worked with President Obama loved President Obama, and we don't even have to go into Bush. Probably anyone with a functioning brain cell, well, that's the problem. Not many people with a functioning brain cell worked for him, but anyone, at least in retrospect, who worked for George W. Bush knows that he is a moron. Um, having called Trump a moron at a Pentagon meeting that hardly remained confidential, Tillerson was forced to go before the live cameras that sent shudders up his spine to utter an unconvincing apologia. Give me your thoughts below. A lot, all of this is like they can't get Trump on anything because he didn't. He didn't collude with Russia. So the whole Russia collusion nonsense is like completely either discredited if you know what's going on. Um, Russia never hacked the DNC. The DNC never gave its computer service to the FBI for a reason because they're lying as usual. Um, we know from disobedient media, Elizabeth Voss, Adam Carter, the forensicator, uh, Bill Binney, NSA legend, all of these people, cybersecurity analysts, and journalists that actually did work on debunking that myth that the DNC was never hacked. You could just look at the download speeds from Gucci for 2.0, which is a fabricated entity. He wasn't Russian. It was, he was a CrowdStrike DNC fabricated entity. Um, the download speeds show that it was copied locally at the DNC, not hacked by Russia, the Gucci for 2.0 files. Then you have the issue of Nobody knowing from President Obama to James Clapper um, and nobody having any direct evidence of Trump-Russia collusion, but nobody knowing how WikiLeaks obtained the, uh, the DNC and Podesta emails. So the entire Trump-Russia nonsense is basically irrelevant now. Anybody really paying attention. Um, you have a situation where 
everyone's trying to paint Trump as this insane person when all they have to do is just say, you know what, we disagree with you, and here's why. All they have, all people, all Democrats have to do to defeat Trump. This is a very simple thing to do. You simply say, okay, here are your policies. We don't like your policies. Here's what you're doing. Here's why we don't like what you're doing. And we're going to present it in a manner that focuses exact only, primarily on what we don't like. Instead, it's, oh, my God, he's crazy. Uh, he's a psychological problem. Uh, meanwhile, the Democratic Party is imploding like the Titanic Hindenburg if if the if the Titanic and Hindenburg, and like everything else you could think of that just didn't work out well, combined into one, it's the Democratic National Committee and Democratic Party. They're engulfed in flames, imploding, dis being dismantled before our very eyes, which is awesome. But they don't ha they don't stand for any policies. And in many in, in many in foreign policy and mil in 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 economic pol or Wall Street, they're pretty much like Trump, which is why they allowed him to the to have the authorization for use of military force. Um, you hear these Democrats, the biggest hypocrites on the planet. Oh, we hate Trump. He's a danger. He's a threat. And why'd you let him have the AUMF and the seven hundred billion dollar defense bill that you actually passed through Congress? Here's a man you think is this big ogre, this insane person, and he can send soldiers and bomb at will without congressional approval because of the AUMF, the Authorization for Use in Military Force. But that's the Democratic Party. So now they're going and they're saying, oh, he's been wounded. Trump has damaged Tillerson beyond repair. Oh, no. What will he do? Go back to his $200 trillion billion dollars from Exxon. Give me your thoughts below. Buy my book, The Alwan Brothers and Debbie Wasserman Schultz. You want to talk about cover ups and espionage and all of these things that aren't discussed? Buy the book. It's only $3.99. It's a very fact filled, interesting read. You're going to love it. And, um, Give me your thoughts below, share this segment everywhere, subscribe to this channel, especially if you're from another country and you're watching my YouTube channel. You actually help this channel immensely by subscribing. It actually helps the YouTube algorithm for this channel. So I really, really appreciate you um, subscribing and watching my channel, especially if you're from another country. And if you're from another country, uh, let, let us know below. Thank you so much for listening. Share this segment everywhere and subscribe.